problem. The topic is uh, doing good in Malaysia. It's relevant for us to listen to. Our speaker is a prominent person in Rotary locally <laughs> and internationally. <laughs> in addition, he is a good Samaritan. I like his legacy, the world of real happiness in helping others. He adopts and adapts to his principles always. Uh, without further ado, I invite uh, Bibi Sunny to introduce the speaker. Welcome, Sunny. Okay, good evening to our fellow Rotarians. It gives me great pleasure in introducing our speaker for today, past district governor Liu Ching Lim from the Rotary Club of Tampin. He has been in civil service for 38 years as a diagnostic radiography and was last posted to Tampin District Hospital as the head of department until his retirement in 2018. And now he's a full-time Rotarian to continue to serve as a club secretary. He joined Rotary Club of Tampin on 5th October 1993 and was actively involved and has served in the board since 1994 non-stop. He was the club president in Rotary Year with the team Mankind is Our Business and during his presidency, his club won many district awards and he has proud to be re to retain perfect 100% attendance. He is a great supporter of the Rotary Foundation and became a major donor level one in 2019. And he is the only Ashklam Society Chair Circle in District 3300 with more than USD 800,000. It is also a Yayasan Trustee Circle with more than 300,000. Bring it to the Yayasan District 3300 COVID-19 Relief Fund. At district level, he has served as Centennial Assistant Governor in Rotary Year 2004-2005, uh, as well as in 2010-2011 and 2016-2017. and 2017. And he has also served in various committees, too many to mention. Presently, he is also a member of the District Audit Committee, District TRF Endowment Major Gift Subcommittee, Trustee of Yayasan Club Club Rotary Malaysia. Upon his completion as the District Governor in Rotary Year 2019-2020, he was appointed the Regional Endowment Major Gifts Advisor for Region 12, comprising of Zones 10B and 10C, covering districts in Malaysia, Singapore, and Thailand for Rotary Year 2022-2023. And he strongly believes in Rotary's values and said, my Rotary legacy is a world of real happiness in helping others. Let's welcome past District Governor Liu Ching Lim to deliver his talk for today. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Naga. And thank you all of you for your presence. Uh, I would like to share screen now. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So uh, today I'm going to share with you all as the trustee of the uh, Yayasan in charge of project partnership. I think I would like to share with you all on the you know, TRS is doing good in the world, in Malaysia. We are doing good in Malaysia. Huh? So uh, let's have the next slide. Oh, how come? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't, I, I, I can't press enter, huh, Bernard. When I press enter, you went off. Can you all see my screen? No, yes. only the first slide. Only okay, the first okay. slide. Okay, okay. How about the second one? Okay, yeah? Eh? Okay, okay. 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 okay, the mission of our uh, Yayasan Club President is to further the object of Rotary by supporting and supplementing efforts of the Rotary Club in Malaysia to better serve the community in poverty alleviation, education, health, humanitarian, and disaster relief program. So the organization is a non-profit charitable company limited by guarantee 
all donations are exempted from tax. Is governed by a maximum of 15 members of the board of trustees who are mainly past governor from both districts. Incumbent governors will be a trustee if they are Malaysian, or official committee and coordinator are Rotarians from Rotary Club in Malaysia. But this is a Malaysian uh, Yayasan, so it's not uh, 3310 and 330 are make up also Brunei and Singapore. So they have been excluded. And this is the board of trustees uh, that are currently in position. So we have our chairman, past the governor, Dr. Paul C.K. Lee from Pudu. And look at the position here. Fundraising uh, for 3310, we have PDG Dato Zaini. And 3310, then we have publications, Zaini and DG Dr. Krishna. Project partnership, there's Pastor Jeremy Tiong from Kuching and myself. And company assistance plan, we have PDG Philip Chong from Likas. And PDG past assistant governor, Ananda Pile from Nawang. And youth activity, we have Fu Kok Wing from uh, I think Paru Pahat. And IPDG Tio Kwan Sui from Bukit Bintang. Appreciation recognition, we have past president Ng Yao Hua from Rotary Club Kuching Central and PDG Dr. Arasu from the Kajang. And we have also publicity and homepage under the PDG Audrey Suato, although he's a Indonesian, but he's a, a permanent resident there. And Leslie Saludin and coordinator, we have past president Abbas Aziz from MUA and PDG Kringjit uh, Ko. And Bilsuri program, this program is only peculiar to 3310. So we have to, and of course, the two district governors are automatically there because they are expected to help us to promote the uh, Yayasan. So now look at the brief history. A white KKRM as a short form was formed in 1983 when 3300 and 3311 were one district. It was officially incorporated on 24th of September 1985 as a Malaysian District 330 Foundation of all states in Malaysia, excluding Singapore and Brunei. In 1991, the name was changed to the Rotary Foundation of Malaysia or Rotary Form. In 1997, on the request of International, the name Yayasan Club Club Rotary Malaysia was adopted and is now known as YKKRM or Yayasan because the Rotary Foundation don't want us to be confused with the Rotary Foundation. Now let's watch a, a, a video uh, of this uh, Wait, how come? I wonder the video is not there. But how come the video is not there? Oh, but is not here. Okay, never mind. Let me... Let, let me go and share screen. Wait. Let me check my share screen. Oh, I think there's something wrong. Okay, never mind. Uh, since you can't watch the video, uh, I don't know how is it. Let me see. Okay, never mind. We skip the video then. But these are the some of the photos of the uh, YKKRM program activities. Uh. Number one, we have the district interact assembly, where every year Yayasan will uh, set aside the money five thousand for district assembly in. Uh, 3310 and 3300, 5,000 for youth activities. Then we also uh, support RILA. Well, for 3310, they have in Sabah and Sarawak. So the 5,000 is being split between the Usually Malaysia, East Malaysia will use 2005 and everything. So 10,000 have gone for this youth activity. And we also have the disaster relief program, fire in Kampung Likas in Sabah. And we also have the, as earlier I shared with you all, the Yayasan Build Trip Program, which is very popular at 3310, where they collect the funds and they outreach the primary school uh, students in the rural areas in Sabah and Strawa. And on our 3310, uh, 330, we have also done a lot of flood relief. This was done in Tamalo by with the Rookie Club of Tamalo. And this is the, this is done most of the time when I was a governor when the COVID-19 emergency relief, where I myself have actually contributed 200,000 towards this. I don't know whether some of your club actually make use of this fund where you, you have 1,200, you want to read, we'll match you a dollar to dollar. So you have three, let's say 1,005, and we match you another 1,005, you do any food project. That's a food because we believe that at that time when the emergency relief, people cannot go hungry. So we can't wait for people. That's why we immediately we say, 
I think many clubs did this, even the Rotary Club or especially in the Clang Valley, many of them uh, actually make use of this uh, matching. Uh, when Siti was the my trainer, he was heading this project. And we also have this, I'm sure some of the club have bought this. This is the back to school project where the Yayasan with a corporate thing procure this bag from uh, China. And we ask the club to contribute at $20 per bag and you get a tax exemption and you do project. This was carried out simultaneously eh, between 3310 and 3300. And let's look at the disaster relief uh, grant. Eh. Fund transferred to increase Rotary disasters. Eh. All Rotary districts have similar funding. So at the recent annual general meeting, the trustee approved to pass this one to the district governor. But the district governor, respectively, also have this. Eh. It is not the the role of the Yayasan to compete with the district governor, but to compete. So we decided to park this 15,000 to each, to each district 5,000. If there's a disaster, the governor may use this 5,000 from the Yayasan eh, to do carry out disaster relief work. And next, early on, like I shared with you, we also in our object is to fund grant for district activities where all the club have contributions, your the interest goes to the every year for our district, about 20,000 of your district uh, dues from it goes to this fund. So we it is a due to sponsor district in, internet conference, now known assembly, district road track assembly, rotary youth leadership award. 5,000 for activity event must be carried out in Malaysia in view of the tech exemption status. Eh? And this is the one that uh, I'm currently in charge of it. This is a project partnership, which means that any grant tech exemption research to donors and sponsor clubs of district. That means your club. If you have somebody, a, com a company A, who want to support your club project, all they need to do is ask them to donate it to Yayasan. Then Yayasan will give them tax exemption receipt and the money will come back to your club. But we do not give the check to your club. You do the project and you submit the claim to thing. And you have to submit a project partnership. Okay, what project you are doing? How many tax exemption receipt you can roughly put? 50 tax exemption receipt or whatever it is, and you submit your budget for your project. Okay. And as you collect the money in Yayasan, so you 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 you, you definitely you know what. Whoever donate the money, you you know something. But that check must not go, it must be written in the name of Yayasan Club. It cannot be check cannot be written in Penang and Penang send the check to us, cannot. It must be in Yayasan because the Ministry of Finance auditor are very particular. They don't want anybody to have money laundering. That's the reason why. So the money has to be deposited, but you can tell them that this is, you can ask them to write it back. This is for Penang. Okay, uh, hostel, like recent one, hostel equipment project. Okay, then the project call it out with YKKRN as a partner. Then whatever the funding, you must have the word there jointly with, or this is partly fund, this is funded with the corporation of Yasan Club. Then project may receive additional sources of funding. You can get a lot of funding from the, from non rotarian from the thing. The idea is to get tax exemption, especially some big corporate body like TNB, recently Benam Valley. They gave 50,000 for Hack a Tree project. They bank into Yayasan. Then this project is carried out by Benam Valley. So each time Benam Valley do the project, they get the claim, they will submit the claim to us, but the host club must verify the payment that this is correct. Then the treasurer will release the money straight to the project. That is how the tax exemption works. Okay, that is project partnership. And there's a form. If you're interested, you can go to the website and get a form. And you don't send a form to me, you send it to Alvin, the secretary, he will go through the form. Because we are very strict now. If you don't sign the form, or if there's a, a thing that's been, Alvin will return the form and tell you where's the mistake. Then you send it to him. If it's clear, he will send it to the me as a trustee. He will send it to all the trustees. Now no more. You know me, I know you. No, it all goes to the trustee. Then all the trustees will have a look at it. And I will give my opinion, and if it's approved, you'll get the receipt letter and you may proceed with the project. Okay. And next, okay, we have this formally, we have this uh, called the support grant, where each club support grant will get a match of 2000. I mean, one club could donate 2005, Sunny Epo Club with 2005, Upper JS Club with 2005, 5000, and you get 5000 from Yayasan. The problem we are suspending from, we realize that there's no fund coming into Yayasan. So Yayasan is giving out the money all the way until 
we are milk dry. So we have to temporarily suspend this and build white. Because in the past, I think most governors who visit your club, most of them will be, frankly speaking, will be promoting the Rotary Foundation. Hardly anybody, they think. There's a time shift now. So the grant has been definitely suspended and replaced with this community assistance grant. Yeah? But this fund will be temporarily suspended. We'll review when the fund is available. So we'll substitute with the community assistance grant. Okay, this complete assistance grant is new. Huh? A new grant with contribution by Rotarians and club in Malaysian Ringgit. It's in Malaysian Ringgit and how it works. Huh? Complete assistance grant, of course, similar. It's quite similar to the Rotary Foundation District Grant Program, where Rokika and Rotarian donate money to TRF. After three years, the money returned to the district. 50% goes to DDR, 50% goes to World Farm. From the 50%, the district governor can designate 25% to the district grant. I think Sunny and Jia of it, we have used this one. Because in short, the district grant, only 25% of it come back to the club in three years' time. There's no benefit like marching grant. That means you gave three years ago, it's come back to you, and half of it, 25% only goes to the grant. So it don't look, in arithmetic sense, it does not make sense. You know, you're not getting one-to-one -one match. So that's where the complete assistance grant comes in. The objective is to assist club with limit to do small projects. After all, district grant, we only give you maximum of US 2000 which is about 8,000, minimum is 1,000, 4,000. So based on the same principle as district grant, except that if you donate to TRF, the, the, only in US you get a tax exemption. So based on the same principle, tax exemptions are given to the donor, but no matching. Here, no matching. 50% eh? of fund donated can be utilized to fund the project the following year. Okay, you donate this year. Next year, you donate $100. $50 will be allow your club to you the following year. The balance 50 fund will be used for the other following for percent is like some sort of like the world fund. It will be used by yeah, yeah, some other program. That's where we hope to build up the support grant. Then. Money donated are not in US dollars, so smaller in value. So, yeah. Faster return of funds compared with three years in TR and also for smaller projects. And I have a very good news for you all. There were earlier one year. Yeah? So we have received some donations and we'd like to use that to help club in community. In that, we shall give additional 2000 to the club when they contributed 10,000 in total by 31st of December, 2021. Instead of getting 5,000, you'll get 1,000 for, for your project. If you have to, it can be accumulative or can be a club, okay? And their country will get tax exemption and TRF. That means for every, let's you give 10,000, we got four, you got four GRF recognition there. If it's from your club, you can recognize to your major, major donors and things like that. And this will, this, this can be you from the 1st of January, but we don't want you to wait until one year, because some the governor has stopped giving out district grant this year because we are substituting with this. So that the district grant, the DDF that come back to 50% can be used for global grant, where you get one to one man. But unfortunately, due to the pandemic, you only get 80% of it instead of one to one from the PRF. So they can use this contribution January 2022 and do not have to use for one day. This is very special. And this is all largely because actually I I gave 100,000. I hope to get 50,000 back to my club. But PGJ Paulie said, cannot lie like that. <laughs> so he actually asked me, he said, you take a little bit, lah. give me some so that I can give it offer to the other club. So I only spent 30,000 on the hospital ICU bed in Tampin. The 70,000 I gave it to Paul for him to use in this competition club. So he's giving this offer to all the clubs. But if you if you give by 35, you don't hit the ten thousand dollars, you get only half of it. Lah. Let's say you can be five thousand, you get two thousand five. Okay, then you get two two GRF, but the money is still ten. Okay, some of you may ask that if I don't use the money, never mind. We are going because for the first time the Yasan is like the uh rules on time. We are keeping a record starting from now. Let's say EPO, you give how much, some of you get hundred dollars, all will be kept. So that you can actually check reverse after one year. But in this case, after first of the uh, January, uh, first of January, you can check how much have you uh, given. So if you are given, uh, if you are given fifty dollars, don't expect us to uh, say, "Hey, I want to do a project of twenty five dollars." Quite ridiculous, huh? Because the money we only give it to the to the club for project. We have no control over that. You decide what project you want to do, but the project must be complete. You cannot use it to buy your club uniform. You cannot use it for your annual uh, installation dinner. You cannot use it. You must be do for humanitarian good. Okay. 
because that is the objective of the yayasan. You can do it for, let's say you have a flash flood, you want to give uh, to your EPO company or New Village or thing. Fair. Because there's one club who actually want to use it to buy a jacket. So we rejected, you're very sore. So we say, yeah, how can you get your toll? Uh, you, you, we can use it anytime. But then we are very clear in that we have put a condition that if a project, and the project must be, it cannot be used to, for your jacket. Uh, I mean, you raise fund from a corporate, he said, although his company, he get the tax exemption from the company and he want to use the thing back. So I think that is not fair. Okay. So we told him. So after that, he, we explained to him why. Then he realized that. Okay. So uh, do consider this. Okay. Now, some of you may think that uh, it's very tedious, you know, to do uh, ERF, you know. Uh, global grant, of course, I'm sure all of you all know you need to do community assessment because it's not that easy. But for yeah, yeah, some project is very simple. Complete the application form. If you are not sure, you can discuss with any of trustee and their coordinator appointed in your region. In KL, you can look into the ESN and you submit the application to Yasan. Collect funds from your sponsor or donors or fund pay in favor of YKKRM. The treasurer will issue you a tax exemption receipt. You carried out the project. All payment by Yaga can get direct to vendors on verification of information invoices submitted by you. Submit the final report, give us the photo, payment account, close. And you have, uh, like recently I do, the day I have even have the press, we put the press, and you can put it in the Jayasa newsletter to promote doing good. Okay. And let's look at the funding and income. Where the money comes from? 3310 is from the per capita income contribution by Rotarian or District 3310. Okay. That means in 3310, they make a cap. The district deals, like our district deal is for, uh, for this uh, district assembly, you pay for disaster, $9. You can see the breakdown in the uh, district. Well, for that is for our club. For them, they put in one more. Yaya San, $20. They put $20 in the district deal, they break it up. That's why they put it competitive and they contribute to it. Well, for us, we decided not. The district deals that you all pay, $151 based on them, and the money every year put in interest, the interest, you know, whatever we, after minusing all this, whatever excess interest there, we gave the interest to Yayasan, which is about 20,000. 20,000 bear in mind, 20,000, 5,000 goes to uh, uh, Raila, 5,000 goes to Intrac. Okay? You only have 10,000. 10,000, how many, how, many, how many support grants can we do? Two only. That's why all this one, the trustee didn't realize until Paul came in. They were giving out the money like that. That means there's no income from the thing until we start the GRF and all things. Huh? And tax exemption. Why did it come to tax exemption? Because I know, I, I, I think IPO have a charity tax exemption, isn't it? Penang also have it. I think this is an older club. But the newer club is very difficult to get this tax exemption. In fact, those clubs with tax exemption, I will advise you to please, please, please be very careful about this. You've got to spend 70% of your money out. You cannot keep it too long. You know the condition. Eh? Because we have been audited. And I think, and I think also the other thing is they want to have make sure that whatever you have is direct. Not like funny, you say you, you, your company gave uh, so much and you ask them to give a tax exemption to your name. Now we have to, when they auditing, we have to show the check, you know, from which, and you issue the check. Those days, no. Those days, I'll tell you, okay, I'm giving, I'm donating $20,000. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, these are the name you issue, 2005, 2005. We have been warned. So now we, that people say, hey, why last time? Don't talk about last time. We cannot, we cannot be doing the wrong and going the wrong. So we are actually in the Yayasan to make things right. That people are... Just don't believe it. Hey, why so far, you people? Last time, huh, I gave 10,000. I will tell them, you give this to my son. You give this to my... And there's one guy also, huh, like to share with you all. He has a nephew studying in uh, Australia. He started a partner partnership. He said, I want to give a fund for this. But he did. then he, he get his company to bank. He get the exemption. And he is sending the money to his nephew. You know, even the auditor found, you know, and we put our hands together like that. Sorry, sorry, we don't know. Because why? We all trust Rotarian. We believe in Rotarian. So now because of this problem, everything has been scrutinized and all the trustees will be informed. And I'm, if I'm responsible, we have to make sure. The fund, fundraising project approved by club and YKKM board of trustees. Earlier I told you, you said, some of them want to buy, you want to use for your jacket, 
we want some of them have the clubhouse, they want to buy the big rotary wheel, they want to buy the stationery, all cannot. Okay, subject to term and condition governing trust fundraising project. Like for instance, the Rotary Club of KFC, and they are very good in using this uh, GSC. Eh? They have the screening of the movies. Okay, earlier they didn't put any, uh, they didn't put any project. Now we insist. You want to raise fund for what? They have to name for their charity fund. So the money is kept in uh, Yasan. Yeah, and now we have a time period. Because last time, Yasan, yeah, you keep on giving money and you tell, hey, I got money there, I got money there. And Yasan, yeah, all of us are volunteers. We don't have a paid staff like TRF. And we don't have computers, everything. At least now, we have an employee, which is half of the salary, the one position in Rotary Center. Half of it is paid by district. The other half is paid by Yasan. Yeah, so at least now, we are building up the record. Some of you have even paid for GRA. Some of you never get the certificate. Some of you never get the PIN. But these are all the problems we have been tying up to things. So give us a chance. So we have done the have Recently, we also told the governor, if you have a receipt, I think we'll try to uh, update it. Like, then you have a database. We are computerizing it. So that's how it comes about. And you have to, uh, every cent has to be accountable. And that's a way to maintain our yeah, yeah, some tax exemptions. And uh, just for information, our, we got our tax exemptions because through this man called Jama Rice Feller. He was the former Bantri Basar of Slangor and he was the Lori Club Peya Raja. And those of you who are early years in like Sunny, you'll know, he will come to the district into the wheelchair. The daughter will push him in the wheelchair. And he said throughout the session, whole session, we have great respect for this man. And he was the one who got the tax exemption for us. Huh? Okay, now these are the uh, recognitions. Okay, we have also tightened up the recognition based on the TRF. Those days when you contribute, you actually don't know you are a patron, right? So you have some sustaining member. That means some sort of RFSM. You get 250, you are sustaining member. German rice fellow, some of them, why German rice fellow? You could think for contribution of 2005. All these you get tax exemption, okay? Except for project partnership, where you're going to mean you use that. But we don't take any cent on money. And those days, the 5% we take now, even the 5% we don't want. We want you to be, as long as you're accountable for who's check, everything. Patron level one is 5,000 to 9,000. Patron level two is a thing. Uh, major uh, patron level one and major uh, patron level two is the amount. And major patron trustee circle and major patron chair circle and the Yayasan circle and diamond circle. This is following the format of the two TRF. Uh, at the moment, I'm in the chair circle. Uh, because of the COVID uh, country. Okay. Okay, next look. So they continue the Ruti Club uh, contribution. Uh. Each ringgit of unrestricted, unrestricted contribution will in the club one contribution point. We also following back the TRF. Those days you give. Unrestricted mean you are not giving it to a project like your project partnership. You are giving it to it. And you can use this grant and patron recognize individuals. Then your club. As you, let's say there's one club who make it uh, in their own club deals that have, in their deals they put it uh, fifty dollars I think so the money will go in the name of the club then the club got the points so you can recognize uh, any of your donors with a GRF or patron recognition okay that's what it meant by unrestricted huh? restricted means you name it for project you cannot have both or both world because you don't Janasan did not gain any from your contribution. And this is the pin, okay? It's almost like the JRL. For information, there's a lot of people who actually complain. This pin is actually plastic airbrush. Even I don't wear you. You pay to that. Some, some we are wondering, you know, our own Yayasan, you ask people there, you give plastic and airbrush. So we have decided, we have asked the designer, we have designed a new pin, which at least you get a metal. Then one wondering why so light, you know, after wearing sometimes you see the airbrush, you know. You know, plastic, uh, like our proton sign, uh, you get airbrush. So we have stopped this. But the new production have not come in yet. Because uh, when we took over the Yayasan, I, could, I, I don't mind sharing with you, it was in a mess. Okay. So now every, as you see earlier, I showed the rule, every trustee now has a portfolio. Have a, those days, no. You are the Yayasan trustee, you only come for meeting when you are called. No portfolio. Only one man show, the chairman. Anything you want, you see the chairman. Even I know the chairman, I'll be getting a lot of perks from him. You all don't know. I want a project, he'll give, he'll give. Especially support grant. 
You give, you find 2005 from Penang 2005, I'll give you 5,000. Just give. And based on the promise you give, you know. Okay, so with that, I would like to thank you all and I welcome any questions that you may have or want to share with you on the Yayasan. And I hope that you will, especially for those of you even who are retired, if you ever have your son or your son-in-law, ask them to contribute if they are paying income tax, unless you are taxing it. You pay income tax, why not ask them to give? So last time you give to Yayasan, you get it. At least now if your son-in-law, anybody give 1,000, 500 will come back to your club. And for this particular time, is uh, January. If you go to next year, one year, uh, you come back. Okay? So I will stop my uh, screen share and I welcome you all to uh, have any... Uh, Stephanie also here. <laughs> so I think those of you who have uh, uh, the tech exemption status, like Penang also have it, I know. Penang, yes. Ipoh, Penang, Penang, Ipoh. I think very few. In fact, uh, just for information, uh, a big club like PJ, uh, they almost they, they they were suspended. They almost lost their tax because number one, they were raising funds, they didn't keep a good record, and they didn't use the money. Mm. But to use the money, you know, 20% of it. They have to be very careful about that. So for yeah, I, the think, we have been I think and CTR1 also got ah, yeah, I think CTR1 also have it. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that the uh, the problem is that if you have uh, locally some corporate especially those with CSR. They, now, if I like OCBC Bank, I'll give you an example. Like this thing, and some of the people can, they are no longer giving it to individual clubs. You know? They like to give something with more broad base, like Yayasan Club, Club of Free Malaysia. It's spread even to Sabah, Sarawak, the whole of the country. Uh, that is uh, like TNB. They don't want to give it to uh, Kerala Raja. They want, to give, they want to give it to somebody with broad base. That's where the Yayasan can come in. If you ever have a... Donor, for example, you have a donor from want to give to Ipo, uh, uh, the one you say, Oh, I can't give to Ipo. Just recommend that the money to go back to Ipo. We will consider you help to raise the fund. Okay, you can name it that okay, this company from uh, Ipo is going to give this thing. Uh, then we will be considered, although we will give him the tax exemption, but that money will go to the but not all uh, 10,000, 5,000 will give to you uh, because we need the fund uh, to generate the other. Uh, okay. If you don't have the tax exemption now, because you have the tax exemption, he can donate to you. Fair enough. We are not doing it. Okay? Uh, that's how it works. And there's a lot. Uh, hopefully, by the time we build up the thing, we'll go back to the support grant again. Now, they, we, we are dry. We have been giving out. We didn't realize until when we took over. Wow, we saw. Then some of them got credit. They say, hey, uh, this club say we have credit. No, we, we last time we gave to Yasan. But when we check the account, don't have. Then when we saw, the, the chairman said, oh, I bank it into my personal account. <laughs> then transfer. All the other, you know, the way we answer the auditor, we put our hand together. If better, we have to bow. So, you know, uh, the amount of problems. Thing. And sad to say, the chairman also resigned from Rotary. No longer in Rotary somehow. You know? Uh, how bad it is, you see? We, we, we said people don't realize, you know, but we don't want to wash all these dirty linen. After you say, these PDGs, all these PDG, all the same, right? You know, when they take over. <laughs> so, but somebody has to be there to make it right. You know, it's not wrong. That's why we say we admit it's wrong. It's not that we strict. So now every uh, community assistant, we have an SOP. We have developed the SOP. Then whoever leaves the assistant, even I'm no longer there, whoever comes, has to follow the SOP. Lah. You know? Last time they know SOP, when we think, how do you think, oh, this one, I, all I need to do is a telephone. Hey, Sunny, I want 5,000. Okay. 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 Now everything will be documented and our... We have a very efficient secretary. Uh, he will keep up all these things. I right, welcome question for anyone you that think. And please think about Yayasana. See, now you all don't have district grant. And the next, the next governor, Krishna, also not going, and the next governor also not going to give the district grant. Because district grant, you don't get any match. And there's no point, you see. That's how it comes in. But of course, I would like to remind that even after this talk, it's not any way ask you to stop giving to the reformation. You still have to give them. This is another way of looking at because one, you give to the Spanish speaking, you give it to the tourist mountain, there's no tax exemption, of course. It's not a matter of tax exemption, but for there, you give it on the broader base of heart. If it's extra, you give it. Like the campaign of the Tabo. You have put there $240, it's come to $60, then you give $20, then $29, you give, and you give $80 to Yayasana. So we are very thankful for you. And $40 will get back to you. 
Okay, I hope you understand that. PDG. Yeah. Uh, now, now you said that the records are put in order. Mm, we are so, we are building up the records. So, the so last recognition. Those, those uh, Rotarians who have contributed two fifty and have got receipts issued. That means they are considered as a J J F S M. Is it? No, the uh, Yaya yeah, Sun Foundation member. Why sustaining a, member. The sustaining member. Why SM? But why SM got nothing uh, Then like the like your RFSM, you don't have no pin, nothing. Yeah, like yeah, that. no pin. Ah, but do do we have a record on that? The problem to tell you the truth, we don't have we only have record from I think Baskin's time. Because the rest of the record, there's no record, no office. What? Right? They, they just uh, uh, Yayasan in the name of the now at least we have office, we build up the record, it's in the Rotary Center, and wherever the government come in. Of course, uh, those I'm, I mean the records can be actually traced back from the, the receipt. unless you have the records, lah. Of course, the receipt, the but receipt. who keep receipt for so long? Even some of my members, I know. Because I got a photograph of the of them giving the check, but I'm in charge of my secretary. I dig up right and show. I say show this photograph. <laughs> At least they show the photograph. I say I gave four thousand uh, dollars to David Ho. David Ho also did. Hi you. <laughs> so we yeah, have So we actually, I think Bindi has actually sent out. I think uh, Naga, you're aware of it, huh? Bindi has yes. already sent it out. Uh, yes. We are trying to upgrade. Because we do, we share some a lot of grievances, uh, you know. Uh, so I think so. We we try. So what is beyond design is very we, we have no records when we took over. So this is the so we are uh, this is so nice of this uh, ranger of CP. He's going to even give us a software for us uh, to build up in the computer. So we are training the Patricia and down to have the to build up the record and we are going to put it in the, the district portal. That's why the portal is a big investment. We invest fifty thousand dollars on the portal, you know, so that it will be the other in future. You want to check anything funny, you just go there. Put in your thing like the uh, Rotary Central check. You want to check your TRF. You want to check your Yayasan record. All will be there in perpetuity. You see, the problem is that Yayasan is made up of they're all busy people, ma. One fellow in Sabah, Sarawak, all these things meeting. And this year, at least, uh, virtually, we still managed to meet over Zoom those days. Eh? And they previously all all the meeting in a uh, uh, they put it in Sabah and Sarawak, so we can't go. Only the chairman can go. So now at least we, we, we know we we, we, we we have the meeting here in the Rotary Center and those who come from uh Riff from Sabah they can claim that for the thing but we're treating them. So we are going to have the uh then the, every year we're going to have the recognition night also the chat solo where the last one will have it in Federal Hotel. Uh, we have it so you'll be wherever we recognize and we want to stop this thing where the club give five thousand. And you ask the treasurer to issue the receipt in Sunny's name. The Rotarians are doing things like that. And went up to collect the patron certificate. Amount. And we don't know all this until the members wrote to us. He said the money is not from that president. It's from the they, they show us the check. The check is issued by the treasurer. And you issue the, the receipt to, 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 to him. The name. So now we are very strict now. We should yeah. scrutinize the check first. Hmm. Because why the club asked him to he sign a voucher. He signed a voucher, Sunny, for Yayasan. So you sign. So you bang it into your account. You know, the club didn't issue to us. So you issued to Yayasan. So we thought it's you. Lah. Later on, when you keep, when you go and get it, the, some members very far you wrote to us no, in black and white. They say, What you're sleeping? I say, How are we going to know that? We trust Rotarian. See, there are Rotarians there. Uh, there are Rotarians helping on. Now we, we no more trusting that Paul said, no more. Now follow the rule. If Alvin, calls, if Alvin said, sorry, you cannot. You have to return the form. I, Raman Putra, we return one. Right? Even the, the, the president didn't sign. Eh? Because we have one case. After thing everywhere, the president said, I have nothing to do with this. I'm not responsible for this. Hey? He said, why? He said, my signature was forged. I'm <laughs> sure. So now uh, I actually warn the people, no. I said, now if anything that you fought, I will make a police report. I think I have to. You no, know, whether yeah, it's Rotary or Rotary. Yes. You know, if the person can be proved that he's a fought, we, uh, So these are the things that is going on the yes, and that's why we are going around and uh, 
Bumi Tinggi. That Paul says that once he he reached seventy years old, he did one more year. So he says one more year once he finish, he want to step down. He only did one year, no years. That's why election. But we still elect, lah. No? And because the majority of the clubs in Yayasan in three three zero zero, no. So we usually we we get the chairman is from here, lah. Because like like the previous before Paul was. The Yasan Dr. George Minibun. He's the deputy speaker of the state assembly man. Where he got time? He said, I don't know anything. I just sign only. I just sign only in Sabah. They send sign, sign, sign. That's why we see our money being drained out just like that. So we don't blame him also because he's a busy man. And he in Sabah when he was doing the Harapan, he was the deputy speaker. Dr. George Minibun. Then you ask him, hey, Dr. Uh, why you fire Likas? You go and give. You know, each time the fire burn, they get ten thousand. No, nothing. You know, and there the this Dato Tani in Sabah, the Filipino, every month also got fire. So they are all the illegal squatters. So now they change the plan. They buy fire extinguisher for them. The club do the project fire. So now they fire. <laughs> do the project, give them the fire extinguisher. Those squatters home. Fight your own fire. <laughs> ah, otherwise at least burn little bit. Like, it's not the whole village burn. No, they become disaster. Each time that was that was uh George Newman was signed twenty thousand ten thousand. There you saw the leakers there or this. We are like hero lah. Right, the 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 other son is in the. It to say it's not very stable lah. That's why even with the the Bindi took the thirty thousand disaster that he put it into the equipment lah, where we match with BAC. You know the recent one that they gave in Langkawi. I think you have seen some of the news. They have given the equipment. I think uh also Sungai Petani Hospital have been given the. Ah, uh, people. Uh, these are all part of Yayasan work, uh, you know. So we actually Yayasan do not need the publicity. We want to help club. That's the idea of this. But of course, we want you to put the Yayasan there so that people are aware about. I don't have money, man. Okay. I hope I answer your question, Sunny. <laughs> hey, Dison. Sungai Sungai Pertanian, you will give. Yeah. Show them, show them. Ah, this was just no three M one, no. Yeah, oh, 3M. China brand one. Hey, uh, 3M, <laughs> but uh, hey, consider the, the price is cheap, eh? Is it? No. Ah, yeah. Well, Pohu, uh, Pohu, in fact, Pohu interview five suppliers. <laughs> yeah. The price is uh, cheap for the 3M PAPR. For the for information, Bernard, this was yeah. actually to our Dr. Selva, you know? Oh. Now he's in, uh, in Malawati. He was a physician in Slayam. Yeah. So, through his contact. Lah. We didn't go oh. to the Bumi one. We say you direct. <laughs> uh, uh, no, the you know government one ah, uh, the same thing. You know, Sunny, the price is so much different. You know, <laughs> then we negotiate direct, no middleman. Yeah, even my hospital bought ah uh, seven thousand plus. This is hmm. only four thousand something. Three M one ah. Uh. So that yes. day I was. Uh, no, I was also wasn't three M. This oh. is three M. Yeah. I heard the China one very very cheap, but the uh, doctor said I don't want. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I you you. Club, uh, Ah, you don't have RD, uh, MDA and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the uh, medical uh, device. Medical device. Yeah, you're putting your stuff at risk. Yeah. So, okay, okay, I hope you all will actually yeah, yeah. think about... It's a very uh, nice topic. Think about Yayasan. Huh? Give see, something, if, please. Basically, <laughs> if, basically, if a corporate company want to... Yeah. Uh, mm. Give you the fund to the... Uh, yeah, you the can... Yayasan. Okay, let's go and subscribe. You, you know somebody, you know. You can huh. ask them to give you a son, and we consider that based by you, Vintang. Half of that money will come back to you, unless the company wants to do a particular project. Or let's say you start a project, or open it, so you approach mm -hmm. the guy, then cannot lah. That is a project partnership. Okay? okay, that means your the money we only collect on you, but we only give you the the income tax, but there's no recognition because we mm -hmm. do not receive anything from you. It is considered restricted. Uh, restricted, nah. That means like you are contributing to a project, unless you are getting somebody who contributes to Yayasan. You say, uh, we have a Yayasan. The program you can show in some of the programs. So you contribute, you get the tax exemption. Then of course, if you give ten thousand, five thousand will go back. If it's done by thirty first then you get extra bonus two thousand, which from my seventy thousand then. For example, if I if I pay two thousand five hundred, yeah, to your Yayasan account, yeah, you get the tax exemption. You will get the recognition. And and after one year, but for this particular one in January, after January you get one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars back to your club. 
But not, that money is parked in Yayasan, you know, only for projects. You, know? you cannot say, hey, I want the 2005. You cannot. It's in Yayasan, hmm. but it's under Rotary Club of Greentown. Because you are from Greentown. So you can accumulate. If you give $100, $50 will go there. Okay, you get a tax exemption. You give hundred dollars, fifty dollars will go to your club. Fifty dollars. But you see, you. when I give you every month two hundred fifty dollars to Yayasan, you get the re you get the receipt also uh, every year. Yeah, I'll get the every receipt. month. Every but any it's... any money you give Yayasan will give you a receipt. There will be a tax exemption. If the tax exemption number is written there. Hmm. Only thing that uh, said that our website, many of us say, hey, why you cannot develop credit card? Why you never get this? E wallet, I say, my goodness, you think uh, Yayasan all big all these, uh, we are all not the millennium people, man. <laughs> we have we depend on this, like you saying, all, all free one, you know, doing free, you know. So at least now uh, we ask you to bank it, we give we give you the bank account. Uh, and the foundation, you are not allowed to have many bank accounts, you know. It's time when you open it, you ask permission, you know. In mm -hmm. fact, some of the clubs have made a mistake, they open a lot of accounts, uh, you must report to MOF, you know. Oh. You cannot just go to the bank and say, oh, sure, I, I want to open another account. Open another account. So they are very strict. So that's why you, you people say, yeah, so why you get only one account only? All the money there, we have to be very, very difficult. No? Your money, how are we going to segregate? Then the treasurer is a very tough job. So they, Ipo will bang in, this will bang in. You have to be very sure, no? So you, you, you do not keep record. Then we always ask you to keep, you keep record. And we also try to keep record. You see, once they bang in the money to your account, Definitely, yeah. they will following up the sleep, but from whom the money comes from. Yeah, the problem is that you got only one treasure. A treasure got pepper farm in Rawang. He got ready thing. Where he got time to go and look? He wait for the statement. And some of you are uh, banging money. We don't know who, you know. Lately, we just asked, who banging $10,000 from this branch? No, see, uh, these things are happening. Even district deals. So I think I will be having it. Some of you bang money and we have, oh, which one with the 21, 14 club, 14 times 151 and look for you. I think a lot of headache one, I tell you. We are we so called this thing never, but it's happened. We have just recently the medical women. Somebody banged 5,000. We don't know who banged in the 5,000. No, and everything. We only know the branch. Uh, and now this online, online, some more, you know. <laughs> two, 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 you give the SNS. And the uh, treasurer, he's run, he, he, he planting pepper in Rawang. Uh, he got no lime on there. You know? When he come back, you don't know which is also. <laughs> For each payment, you must fill up the form. No, you just go, you just, uh, no, no, no form to, of course, in the website, there is, there's a form, you can fill the form, no problem, there's a form, that you, like our yeah, some form, but it's not online, only you fill in the form, but you pay the money online, and with the form, you just snap on the thing, ah. and send it to Alvin, the bed. now I put to Alvin, Alvin, the secretary, <laughs> Alvin, okay. take out the documentation, <laughs> uh, that he will lie with the treasurer, but those days, they always send it to the poor treasurer. No, poor treasurer went no. Then you put there Nagalingam. Say, which Nagalingam man? <laughs> you will complain. Uh, so now we ask everything to Alvin. Alvin will take like within the Alvin. Then Alvin will try to take. Then at least Alvin will help him on that. His job as a treasurer is to prepare the account and make sure Alvin tells you that it cannot be you take ten thousand. Then he give us a list of you know. I want this to this person. This person cannot. So they were doing that. Hmm. Okay, Angeline, any question? Angeline, President? Oh, well, very good. PDG, Leo, oh, very Dr. good. Dr. Vijayan is here. <laughs> How are you? Uh, PDG, good evening, PDG. I want to go and dig a buntong. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Indian shop, the one we went, you know? Yeah, the yeah. Ah, yeah, beside nice. the Malay police there. Ah, they bring me, I think, breakfast don't bring me to the hotel. I think, bring me the, all the typical ones. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast for breakfast, BDG. Ah, very nice. <clears throat> okay, BDG, I just want to, I'm quite new in Kinta now. Yeah. I'm in the Yayasan TRF all. I'm uh, now learning, BDG. Never okay. mind. We all, all of us are learning. Lifelong learning. Okay. Don't worry. If a, say, if a private person, private company wanted to donate the yeah. thousand to the Yayasan. Yep. How to go about BDG? Very simple. Okay. There's a form here. Of course, you have to explain to him lah. Uh, if you, want to, if you have form. a project, if you want to, you want to do a project, uh -huh. if you want the company to support a project, you can do a project partnership. You okay. fill in the form, okay, okay. and you say the, uh, your project, uh, let's say your project budget twenty thousand, and you put there, you may need about uh, how many receipts or this thing. So yeah. you you go and campaign now. Uh, we ask the company, we are doing a project, can you donate? So when they donate, we'll give the tax exemption receipt to to the company wherever they. And this money will be parked in Yayasan. Then when you want to do the project. 
you send in the your claim, you must verify it that you have done it. But you cannot use it to buy your. You having a thing you want to make the beautiful jacket cannot ah. Huh? Mm. You have to back pay. So you okay. send in a claim. We will pay direct to the vendor. Okay. We okay. we don't take a single cent from you. Those days were five percent. Now we don't want. Uh, that is project money. That is called restricted. The okay. other one is unrestricted. You gave us the ten thousand. Okay. Ah, uh, that means you are not ah uh, treating. Okay, ten thousand. Okay, then the company assistance grant is supposed to be after one year. You get fifty yeah. percent of it back to your club, but okay. it's not given to your club. It's parked there. Okay. Yes, and for you to do any project that your board approve and submit to us, of course you cannot use it to buy for your installation dinner. You can use it. It must be used for humanitarian or disaster. Uh -huh. That is one. And uh -huh. we only give you half of it back. But if for the initial stage, if any one of you gave. By thirty first of December, up to ten thousand, we'll give you a bonus. Oh. Maybe you get seven thousand, five thousand plus two thousand bonus. That two thousand bonus is from my earlier contribution, lah, that I gave for this. So that to encourage you, all. but this is the initial year, so we want you all to wait for one year. But you will go, you will wait for the TRF one is three years. Now we are modifying this, and this for small project. Okay, and it's also in Ringgit Malaysia, and you get tax exemption, especially for those of you who don't have. Club who don't have this uh, tax exemption charity fund, huh? Okay, okay. Then, especially doctor, if you are paying income tax, give lah two thousand five. You get the income tax receipt there. Don't give to the government lah. <laughs> as long as you are paying income tax, you should donate. Ah, uh, even my son, so I uh, catch him and say, hey, you, you, uh, I told you give income tax, but give. I say, as long as you give me the receipt, no problem, is it? <laughs> After I'm going to give it to the company, because the you can attach your receipt. But company, I I'm not too sure. Like company, we give them tax exemption. Some of them they have a limit of what the CFR. The like OCBC all they they OCBC have done. I've done with Sungai Petani also. Ah, huh? ah, benar. OCBC. Ah, <coughs> OCBC ah, Macron. Macron. Yeah, uh, OCBC. Yeah. OCBC. For the laptops, huh? Yeah. We all want to do OCB. OCBC ask me tampin got branch. No branch. Sorry. <laughs> You must have a branch in you. Okay, so, you know, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the maximum uh, tax exemption for uh, donation? Actually, there's no ma uh, maximum uh, today because only thing they are only worried about what not is money laundering. Uh -huh. yeah. So we gave you the thing. So if you are if you are drug trafficker, you give hundred thousand, you give you that the thing. Of course, the income tax thing. There's no actually there's no limit. Therefore, we even have hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. They like the. Datu Zaini, he got from the uh, the Sam Dabi, uh, East Malaysia side for the school bag project. Huh? He got one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. This uh, PG Audrey got it for the bag project, twenty dollars. What about the uh, personal tax? Uh, what's the personal? I think I think we do the same thing. I think the same yeah. thing. They want to maybe we have to, if they're really a big amount, we have to uh, find out from our legal advisor lah. We shamugam lah. We can actually okay. we don't want to give the people forces. If really too big, yeah, you give one million dollars, huh? I think then then we give you a tax. Then after the flood cannot get that. Then just you 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 curse us. Okay. <laughs> but of course, if there's yeah. a big donor, we can always sit down and. Uh, there's a sure. limit, or no? There's uh, a limit. I, there's a limit because. Ah, uh, there's a limit. The limit, yeah. Personal, no. He's talking about corporate. Yeah, personal. Personal, 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 yeah. Personal, yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, corporate money, also, I think there is. Corporate also, I don't. Oh, there is. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, organizations the... are seven percent of uh, aggregate income. Oh, okay. about that. Ah, seven percent of your total income. How about individual? Yeah, in, in the, I think individual. Oh, this is individual. Individual. There must be a limit, otherwise the government. Money corporate... laundering. Ah. Uh, yeah. no. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, PDG. Thank you, PDG. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, PDG.